so it means also you can you can I means go to this and you can watch this SA and DC. That's the website which provides the data. You can probably means what to say uh, watch these videos also. Like means what say there will be quite a lot of videos which will be available. How does this behaves? This device behaves and how it is superior? How it is superior than the auto recloser? Means I am I am not really going to spend much time on that. But you can probably I mean what to say look at this and this is a device. Which is, I mean, what to say, uh, similar to auto recloser, but means what to say, if there is a fault, is a permanent auto recloser blindly closes and it creates a second fault. But whereas internal repair doesn't does that. So means what to say, these are some videos which you need to watch. So you can probably means what watch the watch the videos after after my sessions, right? I am I am not really I means going to this. So I am I am just giving you the link of all the stuffs so that you can. You can watch more on more on that. So, in what I am telling, auto recloser is a device which has been used sometimes back, but now that is being replaced by the devices like Intel Eruptors. That is an intelligent auto recloser. That means the auto recloser which doesn't have an intelligence added with an intelligence added with a smartness, and that becomes I mean, so it's an intelligent device which doesn't reclose when the fault is permanent. Right? Self healing. That is another important stuff. If the element fails or if the equipment fails, that equipment has to be fail safe, and there should be an alternate path for the power to flow so that the customers are getting power supply without any interruption. So that that's about self healing, demand response, distributed generations, combined heat and power, microgrids, electric vehicles, PMU, home automation, energy storage. These are all small, 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 small elements of smart grid. So when I say smart grid, it's a grid which consists of quite a lot of electrical equipments. All the elements in this grid has to be intelligent enough, and it should be intelligent enough, and it has to communicate in a some logical way, take a decision, operate in such a way that this includes. Or increases the renewable penetration without violating the grid stability, enhancing the availability and reliability, providing a quality power supply to the customers at an affordable cost. Whereas the customer has a choices. So probably means this could be a, like a definition of a smart grid. What what we can look at. So means what say I have not really coined all the terminologies for a smart grid. There are other two slides, but probably means what say. Essentially, whatever maybe the elements or the equipments or the probably concepts which we are talking in this slide has to be part of smart grid. That that's what really I am trying to talk about. If you take a PMU, we need to really ask a question: What is PMU? What is the drawback of SCADA? Why we have to come to PMU? Means what to say? Then we can easily understand. Like means what to say? SCADA, yes, that is working fine in the substations, but unfortunately, means what to say? When there is a blackout in India in 2012. Uh, I mean, we do not have a complete monitoring of the grid, or there is no uh, bird's eye view of the Indian power systems. That means there is no uh, global visibility or global observability. Probably, if you really relate to the uh, subjects like uh, uh, control systems or advanced control systems, where you talk about global observability or visibility or controllability, correct? No, all the stuffs. Then probably means what? Say we are lacking of complete observability. So then probably means what? Say why? Because SCADA is there in each and every substations, and it is not really synchronized with each other, and there is a time stamping not available in SCADA, which results in means identifying which event has been taken place at the first. That that's not really known. So then, probably means spatial measurement unit came that provides a much better uh, time stamping mechanisms, and it has a global stamping mechanisms, and it provides quite a lot of so on so forth, right? And similarly, when we talk about home automation. Like means to say, demand side management or a demand response. When we talk about without some smart home automation, we may not be able to manage the demand response, right? A demand response, the demand which is connected has to be intelligently respond to the change in frequency, change in voltage, change in price, and decide when this element has to be switched on and switched off, right? So which cannot happen really with the home automation. I mean, without I mean, advanced home automation, I have to say. And probably means to say when we talk about home automation. If it is probably an apartment, then it has to be a building management systems. If it is a commercial building, then it has to be a building management system where this building management system is uh, like uh, uh, interconnected with uh, uh, 
uh, means your diesel uh, if diesel generator is there then diesel if you have a rooftop solar if with a rooftop solar if you have wind farm if with a wind farm with all the loads and probably means all differable uh, loads and probably means or say even today if you look at transformers are intelligent enough transformers are intelligent enough what i mean by that if the transformer is rated say example 100 mva and probably means or say if the power flow uh, during because of the peak load or probably means other transformers are out of service or because of some festivals etc etc the load is increasing to 110 mva this transformers means monitors this parameter on its own it takes an other information also like what is the ambient temperature what's the wind velocity is it raining all these informations and this transformers identifying its dynamic rate right means when we say 100 mva there is a static rating it's not a dynamic rating when we say 100 mva 100 mva is at an ambient temperature of so much with an uh, means what's the wind velocity of so much with with so much height etc right so means this devices nowadays doing it means what say real time assessment of what is the capability of the equipment and if 110 mva comes yes if the ambient temperature is low it's probably means for say in the evening uh, ambient temperature is only maybe 20 degree or 22 degree celsius but the transformer is rated for 100 mva at 30 degree or 40 degree yes why not so this 110 mva can be allowed or probably means if it is exceeding limit then probably it decides which feeder has to be i mean so say switched off so that probably means that the remaining loads could be i mean so say uninterrupted so all these stuffs all these stuffs are basically coming in the equipments like a transformer itself and probably means one more information which i need to talk about uh, um, like this transformer nowadays informing the owners through mobile whatsapp or an sms or an email that yes probably means what say uh, means what say you need to take up this portion on load tap changer for a maintenance you need to take up rtgc that is a remote tap changing cubicle control cubicle for the maintenance or you have to change the oil or you have to i mean what say uh, uh, change the breather all this stuff so means what say this i mean what say transformers are coming with the real time monitoring devices as a part of or embedded into the transformer itself and probably then they are uh, probably means what say intelligent enough to alert with the communication so probably transformer is looked at as an electrical device physical apparatus which doesn't have any, any intelligence about i mean so say decade back but now the same transformer takes a new dimension altogether like means to say that's provided with the communication that's provided with the control that provides with a like a sophistication like sending a message or sending a mail etc 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 this is not really possible without communication that's the real reason why probably we have defined smart grid as i mean so say bidirectional communication bidirectional power bidirectional control right all right so maybe shall i stop now and take few questions if any yep any questions so we have i guess 30 minutes more any any questions as of now any questions you can post it either in the chat box or you can unmute yourself so let me wait maybe for 30 seconds to get a question that could be maybe something beyond syllabus is also i am fine Okay, I guess then there is no questions. Let me continue my session. Yep, so the other elements are the terminologies like time of use pricing, gas insulated substations, SCADA, distribution automation. This is a key element. Like if you take smart grid to an extent now generations are, I mean, so it's smart enough. What I mean by that, generator has an automatic voltage regulator, generator has a governor, both are communicated in bidirectional way with the load dispatch centers. That means if I have a 500 megawatt thermal plant, how much power the thermal plant has to generate can be controlled from a load dispatch center. And if there is a sudden reactive power requirement, means for say load dispatch center can communicate to the AVR of this generator and ask them to generate more reactive power. So that means to an extent, generation is smart. And if you come to the transmission, high voltage and extra high voltage transmission, high voltage and extra high voltage transmission, that is also intelligent. 
like means you have sophisticated uh, substations you have intelligent electronic devices that is called ieds previously it is relays but now it is ieds intelligent electronic device which can do multiple tasks together and that also probably helps you to i uh, mean so to say measure monitor control communicate all the stuffs right so that means generation and transmission is to an extent that means what's a smart only person which is not yet smart are probably means what's a lagging way behind uh, the smartness is uh, distribution systems so obviously distribution automation is a key challenge for for uh, i mean what's a smart grid so let me at this point let me stop and post a question to get some answers what's the highest transmission system voltage in india what's the highest transmission system voltage in india what's the highest transmission system voltage in india any guess if you have the answer probably you can post the answer in the chat box also and if you know the answer you can what's the highest transmission system voltage in india okay if you do not know i mean so what's the what's the highest transmission system voltage in india let me try to give the answer for that question i personally felt means these are the points which india can be proud of this is the highest transmission system voltage when i asked i have talked with respect to the ac 1200 kv is the highest transmission system voltage in india as well as the globe that means india has the highest transmission system voltage across the globe that is in bina madhya pradesh 1200 kv system which is operating for past few years and probably means why i am stressing this because there are many other countries those who had made an attempt to cross 1000 kv but none of the countries are able to achieve this uk has tried it failed japan has tried it failed china has tried it failed and probably india is the first country who is successfully operating this 1200 kv for the past at least couple of years right so we can be really really proud of uh, such a i mean sort of say uh, uh, great things as an electrical engineer which could be we could be proud of right so means i am i am just sharing that link also or probably means you google it you will you will get it so 1200 kv is the highest transmission system voltage in the world that that the, as well as in india so india has the highest transmission system voltage but only one sad part of it is like um, i mean so to say we from india means so to say none of the companies has involved in designing of that that means power grid is zone in it but probably means for say there are about 43 companies those who are uh, part of that uh, exercise like abbg siemens etc etc all the companies are from outside india that that's only only worrying part right that that's where india has to focus now load city communication iec 61820 probably means for say this one is uh, probably means for say we should not skip this and talk smart grid means now i guess if i am right you are able to understand me what i am trying to say that's simple reason because i am talking in english and you know english and you are able to understand if i am talking in a language which you do not know or if i am not understanding the language which you are talking then probably means we cannot communicate with each other right before this iec 61820 comes into picture abb relay talks in some language ge relay talks in some language siemens relay talks in some language and that means abb relay will not talk to ge relay and ge relay will not talk to siemens relay so okay fine if it is not talking what is the problem like say example today i have installed a substation with say example abb relay and tomorrow because of the increase in demand or because of an additional transmission line i want to extend one one more line one more transmission line bay then i have to go with the same abb relay only if i am say example going with the siemens then probably in the same substation two devices will not communicate with each other and probably means substation in chennai uses abb relay and probably means if the substation in sri perumbudur uses ge relay then these two relays will not communicate with each other because their language is different right so iec 61820 is an amazing protocol communication protocol which has been brought in to bring interoperability 
and other terminology which we should not skip interoperability so means would say this given the freedom to choose the different vendors and still have the same sophistication of communicating right so means based on iec 6850 protocol everything is standardized so manufacturer has to comply with this that means tomorrow if i want to replace ge relay with the siemens relay that is easily possible right so that, that that's basically an iec 6850 cyber security and digital substitution i uh, mean i am not really going to talk about i mean our guys are going to talk more on this digital substitutions and cyber security tomorrow right and i can probably little talk on this energy storage right what energy storage can do energy storage is an essential thing to handle some solar eclipse events which we have seen like means what to say today i means i will go back to this report that is that this is no okay i have shown somewhere the reports i guess this is this light of event yeah this is solar report so means what to say there is about 11000 megawatt change when we have just about 30000 megawatt of solar imagine when we have a 100000 that is 1 lakh megawatt then this mismatch could be huge that could be 25000 megawatt or 30000 megawatt when there is a change of 30000 megawatt between uh, means was a previous day and the next day how do we manage we cannot really manage only with the conventional sources we need to definitely go for an energy storage so means what say you just google it what what this energy storage is can do yeah you can probably means google it and you can really find out this video this is an interesting video i always just refer for people yes so this is this is the video probably means which you can watch in this one so this talks about some interesting uh, mine remote mine which doesn't have any access to the electricity they fed by purely by um, diesel diesel plants which is burning 25000 liters 25000 liters of diesel every year and probably means also then they have incorporated solar and means also they are able to reduce 5000 million liters of diesel every year and they are able to reduce 12 tons of carbon dioxide every year imagine imagine the saving potentials i may be playing something but uh, not not really to full extent right i can i can just share this link and it also talks about means what say tracker based solar inverters and other stuffs right i just share that link also for you to uh, watch this video that probably means such a things has to be taken as a case study for your i mean what say college students or even for a phd work like means what say you can just show you one in the right you just look at the location it is in australia it is about 900 kilometers from perth there is no transmission access so they purely running by diesel and then probably means what say they, you need to transmit a diesel correct not transport a diesel to the mine and as i told like means what say 25000 million liters 25 to 10.6 10 power 6 liters of diesel they are burning every year and probably means what say they have installed a solar and how they have managed the link is there with you go through this if you have any doubts clarifications yep i am i am happy to take the questions so these are other few terminologies which i am trying to talk about energy storage is what that video stresses more i will not really touch on that and if you want to know more about energy storage there is a video called microgrid and energy storage in our uh, youtube channel which you can watch then iot everybody is talking about iot and industry 4.0 nowadays right yeah then comes to our interesting subjects of power system itself like fax hvdc I mean, so say when you need a bidirectional power flow, then means so say you need a fax or a HVDC, right? And probably means look at the HVDC stations which are available nowadays, even at a means so say to an extent smaller voltages like 110 kV or 220 kV also. 
and means to say if it is an offshore wind farm hvdc is mandatory just just look at uh, that that perspective also right and probably means the few manufacturers claim that facts and hvdc alone smart grid but facts and hvdc are a small portion of a uh, smart grid right ems and the very very essential part of smart grid is this customer choices today if i am not happy with the geo i can switch to vodafone or airtel or to bsnl uh, but the choice is not there with respect to the electricity today am i right if you want to buy a power from xyz and today means to say supplier is abc if you are not happy with an abc power quality or availability you cannot have a freedom to change your person who is supplying you the electricity but means to say that that has to be there as a part of smart grid that that's more important demand side management active network management green power affordable cost that is another other important aspect like is it a customer choice but with an affordable cost fiber optic current sensors that probably means to say my friend uh, gopal who is going to talk a little more on this digital substations tomorrow yeah let me probably means to say uh, skipping few slides yeah maybe i can post this question and i can wait for the answers but meantime if you have any questions you can answer this how much percentage of the metering in india is done with the physical measurement by means of sending an operator from the electricity board to the individual houses to the individual industries and to record the previous month data and other stuffs and how much percentage it is happening automatically that means the meters are smart meters and they have a communication capabilities and this reading is automatically measured directly from the uh, remote remote station and the ev bill is mailed to you something like that how much percentage is done with the physical measurement how much percentage is with an automatic reading so i get the answer for that question yeah any answers for how much percentage of meeting is done automatically in india and how much percentage is done physically and what's the what's the uh, means or say any answers in the chat box okay i am looking for the answer if i am not getting any answers then i will not give the answer for that question that's as simple as the genuine uh, understanding which you will have okay all right so means let me go to at least the previous question means this question is already answered in uh, the website which i have opened that is cea i guess yeah i guess somewhere i have opened the website so probably means if you want i can i can reopen this just google it with cea the first page of our uh, home page of cea talks about means how much percentage of the energy which we are consuming are coming from renewables that's the first home page itself gives an information like this is the data of october don't ask me november data ce has not updated it they have to update it i am expecting also they have to do it soon they will do it wait for it so here is the data like means what the renewable generation is about 10 billion units conventional generation is about 107.69 billion units in the month of october that means you can understand how much percentage of the energy is made by renewables So 107 plus 10, totally about 107 million units is billion units is the electricity generation for the whole month of October, and out of which only 10 is coming from uh, renewables, right? So let me probably means if I open up, so 10.024 that is the renewables, 10.024 billion units is the renewables, and 107.6. Nine billion units is the uh, I mean for say conventional, and total is you can understand. I am just adding, and if I put it percentage, like how much is the renewables? So renewable the energy which we are meeting on the renewable is only about eight point three percent. That means October month only eight point three percentage of the energy which we have consumed came from renewables. When we say renewables, it is PV plus solar. That's that's how the numbers are projected in that website. Okay. So remaining 91.5 percentage of the energy came from conventional sources. So imagine, I mean, for say, how much we are polluting. We are talking quite a lot on the renewables, talking about 100 gigawatt and other stuffs. But this is this is where we have stand. And similarly, means you can go to the report, monthly report, and you can look at the installed capacity. I guess which I have already opened it for you, right? I means here is the data. I means if you click this. you will get this data so means what is it as of now india has about 374000 megawatt 
and out of which about uh, means what to say 90000 megawatt comes from renewables which means installed capacity perspective india is means about 27 percentage this is this is an energy perspective this is an energy perspective but if you look at the means what to say uh, installed capacity perspective out of 374199 megawatt 90000 megawatt is coming from renewables that means means installed capacity we have already crossed the 24 percentage already we have crossed the 24 percentage but whereas when it comes to the energy perspective we are at only at 8.5 percentage so that means 24.15 percentage of the installed capacity is renewables but means what say with that renewables only we are able to meet 8.5 percentage of the total demand which is needed that means remaining 91.5 percentage is still met by conventional sources imagine then what should be this percentage so that we can meet 100 percentage from renewables which we are talking about 2030 is what what is our ultimate goal so i don't think that that's practically possible at least by 2030 all right so let me move on okay maybe another interesting question means for say if we replace a conventional meters by a smart meters what would be the payback period in domestic in industry and in commercials how many days or months or years or decades which provides the payback when we replace the conventional conventional by smart meters yeah so let's get some answers in the chat box correct okay. it's not a solution if it is not affordable it's not smart if it is not affordable that that's what genuinely we need to uh, that's what we genuinely need to say like means what to say nowadays smart meter is available but is it affordable is a big question so here answer when it is not paying back means what to say when it is not affordable we cannot claim that as a solution and if it is not affordable we cannot claim that as a smart also it could be smart but if it is not affordable what is the use of that smartness right so that that's where we stand so mean to say like smart grid as on today is not really understood from all the perspectives in a clear vision with the probably a synchronized goal second one technological developments are there i am not denying it but unfortunately this technological developments as on today has not really brought this equipments commercially affordable it's not giving a choices it's not providing an availability and reliability what customer demands with an affordable cost so that that's where that's where we stand okay so probably means what say what is then smart versus dumb simple so probably means if you take 15 years back what is the phone which everybody is talking about is nokia 1100 <laughs> extremely super phone correct no everybody remember still the snake game but why it is not able to survey it is not able to survey simple fact because it doesn't have a smartness in it yes you can talk you can message it you can play a snake game but probably means or say that's all it at best it can do but probably means or say when it comes to a smartphone i'm 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 looking at all this on other way like means or say when we go to this this question we need to also educate a customer as well like i'm i'm looking at with respect to the phone itself as a small simple comparison i am not really taking anybody else example let me take my own example i am not a big fan of uh, means great smartphones i genuinely buy some normal range of phone which is from the range of about 7000 to 8000 that that's my target right so when i buy a phone at 7000 to 8000 rupees how many years i am using generally i am using a phone for 2.5 to 3 years i am not really sure about what's the average and probably means you can relate the story right. so that means approximately at least i am spending 2500 rupees for my mobile phone every year correct no assume that 7500 i am buying a phone and 3 years which i am using 2500 rupees i am paying only for a phone and in addition to that means what to say genuinely i go with like uh, means long term uh, prepaid plans like 2400 per uh, one year with 1.5 gb data or some some stuffs like that so i am paying an additional 2500 rupees for network that means i am paying 5000 rupees just for my mobile phone which i am happy correct but that means the approximately works out about 400 rupees per month correct no but when my electricity bill is increasing probably by 200 rupees or 300 rupees for which i am using my 
even my mobile phones laptop chargers uh, washing machines air conditioners phones lights fans uh, name it name it name it any electrical applicants means all these are operated by the electricity provided by the electricity board if the price is increasing by maybe 200 rupees or 300 rupees in a month right i mean so to say it is just not me everybody gets anger i, I really do not know so means so to say one thing is like means so to say whether it is affordable or not second one means so to say how it is perceived from a customer perspective so means so to say smartphones are proved that means so to say that has a value or probably means so to say i am happy to spend 7500 for every 3 years that is 2500 rupees per year and i am happy to recharge 2500 rupees for a network every year but i am not happy with the same spending 5000 rupees for an electricity bill right which i am using all all the appliances so probably the conventional mindset has to be broken so that's also probably another other key aspect of uh, smart grid smart grid is just not about talking all the technical things we also has to educate the customer that means what say like i am putting it the other way around there is a beautiful comparison which came in uh, sometimes back in an article what's the actual price of electricity so means what say they has put up like i mean what say first 100 units is free i am talking with respect to the tamil nadu applications if you are from a different states you can you can relate with your state first 100 units for a domestic is free next 100 units is 1 rupee 50 paise and after that that's some price so it it goes on so means what to say is it true that that's what that uh, article has uh, argued so means what to say you are not really happy you are not really happy with the uh, reliability of the power supply from the electricity board right that's the essential reason why you are going for an ups or that's an essential reason why you are going for a diesel generators etc either it is in your home or in your industry or your college everywhere everywhere right so means what's the cost of ups what's the cost of the battery and within how many years you have to replace this battery and if you accommodate all these things and what is the cost of true cost of electricity that that's a genuine question which that article has asked and probably means that's where the point which we also have to look at so probably means i am i am putting it this way if we are ready to afford maybe a little extra cost i mean for so say the electricity boards might be able to provide an uninterruptible power supply if so the case you may not need a ups you may not need a diesel generators and there are probably means few countries they do not have a diesel generators at all right simple fact because the reliability of that countries and probably means i have to stay a story here like when edison has invented the electricity he has supplied the villages nearby for continuous 8 years continuously for an 8 years with just a 3 hour power outage the power system designed by edison provides electricity to the villages for continuously 8 years with just a 3 hour power outage means with the super smart grids what we are talking about now doesn't have that much reliability correct no even probably means or say if you look at means or say the country power reliability is assessed by how many hours power get per year that means or say countries even the developed countries are struggling to bring down that way single digit that means means or say less than 10 hours is a means or say amazing target all these developed countries i am not really talking about in india i mean developed countries which they are aiming at so i mean so say but when the edison has done uh, he has supplied for 8 years with just a 3 hours power outage that means imagine how much how much time which he has power outage per year on average right so when we look at the smart versus dump i mean so say i need to talk one more interesting fact I means so say when smart uh, means so say when you have a typewriter probably means about 10 years back or 15 years back everybody has uh, means so say there could be n number of typewriting institutes right not really necessarily 10 years back but at least 20 years back you can you can relate 20 years back that is exactly in 2000 you could have means for so say every street has a typewriting institutes when i mean so say the computer came in when the computer came in probably means we need to uh, mean so say everybody has looked at this uh, desktops and laptops as a um, smart uh, typewriters right means if you treat this uh, laptop or a desktop as a smart typewriter which is not really a fair comparison correct no of course this with a uh, laptop or a desktop you can do wonders but means what say the people to those who have used a typewriter are probably means looking this as a smart typewriter nothing more than that so that means why i am trying to say this like the advantage of converting a grid from now to a smart grid has many more applications to come and probably this becomes an essence and mandatory when you come with a large renewable penetration which is intermittent in nature right and that provides a quite lot of technological benefits over a long run which we need to carefully evaluate 
means what say loss of opportunity cost is also another stuff which we need to really take into account right yeah so these are all some links which i guess i have already done or shared or something so probably means i guess i have maybe five more minutes or seven more minutes with me any any questions let me stop and probably means come back to the chat box yeah any any questions if you have i'm i'm happy to take few questions before i'm winding up my sessions of course i have I means what's a quite lot of many other slides which get to come but if you have any any quick questions any any questions okay if there is no other questions then probably means for say let me let me means for say try to go ahead with my slides yeah thank you thank you alamurugan alamurugan uh, sir for putting it clear yeah. all right understood good so means for say let probably means for say i have just opened directly the pdf but uh, means for say uh, this is what i have it in my slide yeah uh, i mean so say talking about super smart grid is one side but where we stand on the other side is probably the current reality i guess the image which shows everything right so i guess screen is visible and probably means what say this is where we stand as of now or as on today right but probably means what say even if everybody complains with such an images like means our grid is dumb only one thing which i need to say to all of them is like yes i do agree it is a dumb it is not smart only in the distribution system but they cannot claim something in the transmission system or a generation system that it is dumb right whatever may be the examples which is here it's all distribution systems so answer probably means to say uh, if we have come up with some solutions for a distribution systems then that that that's it means to say we smart grid is not not very far right to convert that uh, distribution system into smart we came up with quite a lot of uh, initiatives our government has taken quite a lot of initiatives rap drp one to say rap drp is like uh, one which we need to talk about so that that probably means what to say has hap, uh, started in the year 2009 and probably means what to say though there are heavy investments but uh, the uh, means results are not not really as it is as expected but still it has done a means very beautiful jobs at least in a few cities right if you want to go through this you just google it with an rap drp yep so go with the terminology like rap drp you can you can really understand what is that rap drp and what it has done reaccelerated power development reform program that that's the meaning of uh, rap drp so means they have done a beautiful job with respect to uh, i mean what do you say um i mean enhancing the distribution system from one level to the other level that means like a small distribution transformers like this 100 kv or 200 kv hc said is generally operated with a fuse that means one fuse blows probably means electricity board doesn't really know till the customer calls them and inform that that power is not there but probably means what say that the scenarios has been avoided with respect to the sorry bdrp schemes where all the hc side of the transformers are provided with the breakers and means what say uh, with the beautiful protection mechanisms and probably lv side means what say they have put up a very clear uh, means what say boxes which is sealed and only means what say that uh, authority of the people will be able to access the boxes and even the outgoing transmission lines are basically taken up with the aerial bunched cables where you cannot tap the power and the power tap is absolutely not possible so such things came but probably means it's not probably means for say country where it is uh, specific to some cities right and probably means if you look at uh, bangalore bangalore is a single largest i mean sort of say monitored uh, city in the world from from a real time network like i mean sort of say every each and every distribution transformers along with this everything is monitored from a centralized scada in bestcom so when such things that's what it has been done something locally but probably means not not really at that the large level so 
these are all problem you can say i am i'm not really i mean going to all this some smart meters right yeah. some some ground level which i am just showing This, this are all probably means against uh, means uh, like where we talk about this smart grid that that's where the present scenario is. but means what say we are probably means slowly slowly means what say eliminating one and uh, one over the other of all the drawbacks of converting a normal dump grid to a smart grid one small aspect is what we have started in the year this year 2020 this is a real time market like we have talked about a customer choices right so if you want to buy a power at one o'clock, say maybe 10 million units if you want, yes. If you can go to this Power Exchange India Limited or you can go to the India Energy Exchange Limited, right? And you can buy a power. So means from June 1st, 2020, means we have a real time market. That means if you have a registered vendor in India Energy Exchange, you can trade the power. Means also if you are a seller, you can sell it. If you are a buyer, you can buy it. If you are a trader, you can do both, right? Rather than means investing in a stock market, means use your artificial intelligence or a data analytics, what you have learned in the sessions, and try to participate in, the, I mean, so say, India Energy Exchange or India real time market to make a money. Rather than probably means, so say, trying and experimenting the same thing in the, same thing in the, uh, means, so say, stock market, right? That, that's a simple suggestion. So you can, you can really look at this page. And probably means also this is a website, other website which you can look at. Uh, quite a lot of interesting articles with respect to the real time is available for solar, grid, energy storage, wind, other stuffs. And they are coming up with quite a lot of technical webinars which, which you can uh, really means what say, uh, I mean, what say, watch. And I guess I have maybe a couple of more slides, but uh, I mean, so say, because of a time, I'm just, uh, just I'm skipping on. And if you have any questions, I'm, I'm happy to take a questions. If there is no other questions, I will share my contact number and the email ID in the chat box. Means feel free to reach out to me. And thank you, thank you so much for uh, I mean for say listening for I mean for say probably a bit lengthy uh, straight continuous lecture. And if you have any questions, feedbacks, yes, I am happy to take. If any any questions, yep, feedback link has been shared. So. You can you can fill the feedback form and probably means I have just shared my contact number and email ID for any clarifications if you have. And uh, thank you so much, uh, sir, for giving an opportunity to share the knowledge which I have to the academic community. Thank you so much for Saint Joseph for Institute of Technology and specific to AAA department. I guess this is eleventh program which I am addressing on behalf of SGIT. I think. Thank yes, you. Sir. Sir. Sir, on behalf of our management, our principal, our HODs, I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks for accepting our invitation and delivering the lecture. Thank you, sir. The session was highly informative. We are very much delighted with your knowledge and presence, and I'm sure the participants would have been highly benefited. Thank you once again, sir. Thank you for accepting our invitation and delivering the lecture. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Participants, I request everyone to turn on your video so that we can take a group photograph. It is necessary to submit these photographs to AACTE. So I request everyone to turn on your camera so that we can have a group photograph. Participants, please turn on your cameras. I can see only very few faces. Thank you. Thank you very much. So share the feedback form. Kindly fill the feedback form. And we have another session today at 1 p.m. So kindly join on time. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. And we'll be back again at 1 p.m. Thank you.